My name is Ryan Kalsiolik and I'm an undergrad at Rutgers University. My name is Peter Sue and I'm a PhD student in Professor Kimmerling's lab working under Dr. Anu Agarwal. Currently the main process chamber has a sample in it, so we need to open up the valve connecting the load lock to the process chamber, equalizing the pressure. After we pull the, the sample out of the process chamber and into the load lock, we can then close the valve and then vent the load lock so that we can take out the sample. The sample currently is just the silicon wafer. Currently it doesn't have any deposited germanium onto it. We are taking it out to reapply tape onto it. I am working on depositing amorphous germanium for, on various substrates and characterizing the optical, electrical, and material properties to evaluate its use for photonic applications. Germanium is a silicon CMOS compatible material with several active and passive photonic applications. We're looking at specifically amorphous germanium because it is easier to deposit than crystalline germanium and therefore lower cost. We use a special tool called a profilometer that lets us measure the thickness of the sample. An easy way to use it is just apply tape beforehand so that there's a very clear distinct ledge between where the sample is and where it ends. We're just going to adjust the tape a little bit uh, so that we can get a, a more distinct edge for that profilometer measurement to measure the thickness. What the tape is doing is it's securing the sample to our sample holder plate, but we also are simultaneously using that piece of tape to create an edge where we have germanium and then suddenly no germanium. And that ledge right there allows us to measure the thickness using a profilometer. Here, after we adjusted the sample and the tape and everything's all prepared, we can then take the plate with the sample on it and move it back into the load lock onto the lever arm. After closing the load lock, we can then go back to the control panel and use the pumps to vacuum it down. And we can move the lever arm back into the process chamber containing the sample. Then we can raise, raise the sample inside the process chamber, remove the lever arm, and once again close the valve. Once it's at a sufficiently low pressure, we can then run the deposition.